If you want to buy cheap Ultimate Team coins, go and check out igvault.com and use a discount code EGHD at the checkout to get yourself 6% off your order. Yes guys, welcome back to a new score builder. Today we have a budget of 500,000 coins. It's going to cost you about 550 on PlayStation and about 480 on Xbox. It's always a little bit cheaper on Xbox, but if you enjoy these squad builders, before we get into it, make sure you smash the likes and make sure you're subscribed for more of these squad builders in the future. Without further ado, let's go. So the player that I've actually decided to pick out of this new What If promo is actually Perea. I think this card is severely underrated. As you guys know, I am on PC. I pay a little bit of a premium, but you can get this card for under 100,000 coins right now on PlayStation uh, he's about 100 and then on Xbox is about 90,000 coins and as it is I think that this card is already worth that value and the fact this is a live card it has so much potential you know if this is going to get upgraded you're looking at 150 or above his stats are incredible 90 pace 92 dribbling 84 shooting 88 passing He's also got 71 defending. If you compare the stats of this card to the likes of someone like a Bruno Fernandes, you can actually play this card in a free centre mid formation, whether that's a 4-3-1-2 or something like that. He could be that attacking midfielder because of his defensive stats. 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot, some decent physical attributes as well. Only 85 stamina, but 80 strength, 76 aggression. His defensive awareness is terrible at 58, but his interceptions and standing tackle, slide tackle, all of that is pretty good. So this is a very, very underrated player. Uh, but the way I'm going to use him actually is going to be in more of an attacking role. I'm going to play him in the left, center mid, well, left, the, la the lamb position is what I should say. I got a little bit confused there. And the player to actually get him on full chemistry is going to be a Martinez, a player that I loved in previous FIFAs. I think it was uh, the pink card. What was it called? The Future Stars card. That was it from last year. His card was amazing. Uh, this is one of his informs. He's got a few. There is one that's a left forward and I think maybe even one more than that as well. He's got a few cards this year. 85 pace, 84 shooting, 87 dribbling. He's a very strong card. So at the moment, there's a meta of playing a through ball. And let me just tell you, once you play that through ball, if you're side to side with a defender, more than not, most times he will push that defender out of the way, especially if they're using the fullback meta, you know, players like Carl Walker and stuff like that. He will literally just barge him out of the way. He is much better than you expect him to be. And we've got him there with the Hunter Kem style. Now in the right wing position, we're going to have Hakimi as well. So three players that are getting strong links here, which means that we can build the rest of this squad how we like. We don't have to go down the route of Serie A or going down the same nationality which is really nice now this card again another player that's very very uh underused i would say for the stats that he has he also has 75 defending so just like Perea, you could actually use this guy in that 4-3-1-2 or you know a formation 4-1-2-1-2 maybe with three center mids and a cdm or something you know well that would be four center mids well four midfielders but you know what i mean 96 pace 85 dribbling 76 shooting 81 passing 79 physical a very good all-rounder here three star skills two star weak foot that is really what lets him down it's that two star weak foot but if you use this man with a purpose if you know how to use him um, it's not an issue and you are only paying a small amount of coins for him let me check how much he costs on the xbox and playstation looking at about seven well 65 to 70 thousand coins for this player he's got an 85 in form and an 86 so make sure you do buy the correct version and get the higher version of the car they're both pretty much the same cost now for the rest of this team guys we are going to bring in that man united trio i know it's boring but it works especially when you're playing around with 500k you're getting your money's worth when you bring in these players so it's going to be uh, a Pogba a Bruno Fernandes and also it's going to be a Marcus Rashford now the way you've got to do this you've got to put Rashford in the centre mid position in this 4-3-3 brackets free that's the way that you're going to get the most amount of chemistry on Rashford if you play him in the CDM position um, he's got he's not going to get very good chemistry so he needs to be playing in the middle there and because he's got two strong links they've got great chemistry around him obviously Pogba out of this whole team is going to be the CDM although it's it's not ideal because he only has 66 defending he does feel better than 66 defending it's more like 75 that's for me that's my personal experience with Pogba I feel like maybe because of his body he's a lot bigger in game uh, he just performs better in a CDM position as you'd expect just by looking at his stats you do have Bruno Fernandes as well um, as I said you know stats wise if you compare him to the likes of Perea like you're getting so much better value I know it's like weird to compare the two but I'm just looking at this card for the, the face value here of 100,000 coins. You're getting a lot more pace, more dribbling, better defending, I think better shooting, same passing and more physical stats. So yeah, this team actually has four players that could play in the midfield role. So it really depends on where you want to play them. It's completely down to preference and where you'd like to put them. Now for the right back spot, we have gone for Kyle Walker. And because of the current meta with the way that people like to defend and well, actually attack you, uh, we're gonna be playing Wan Bissaka in the center mid position and then Kyle Walker in the right back position. Um, obviously, this.
this is personal preference. If you prefer a Kyle Walker to be at the, in the center back position, do that. But the reason why I prefer to play a uh, Wan Bissaka in the center back position is because of the defensive stats. Let's have a look at the defensive stats. So he's got 77 defensive awareness, 80 interceptions. Obviously, that is the, the AI that kind of picks up on those three balls and starts to track the run. Whereas Wan Bissaka has better defensive awareness and better interceptions. He's not as fast, but then again, you know, you've got to choose which one would you rather play as a center back, which one would you rather play as a right back. There's no right or wrong, it's just down to what you want and then what we're going to do is actually have Pope in at goal it's going to save us lots of coins rather than going for say an Edison to get that strong link with Kyle Walker so if you have more coins maybe go for an Edison and for the last two positions I'll give you a second let you think of what players I could be possibly putting in here you're correct it is going to be a Mendy and it's going to be a Varane you know I've got these two untradeable so it makes sense for me just so I don't have to keep spending loads and loads on on these squad builders but it also they're just fantastic the, the value for money is incredible if you're one of those people that you're tired of playing against these Varans and Mendes and you're tired of using them because they're in every single team then sure go out and build a different squad but you know when it comes to the defense I'm happy pretty much all year using very similar players I don't mind it's more about changing the midfield and changing the attack for me that's my personal preference now as I said uh, this team's going to cost you about 550 and uh, maybe a little bit less on PlayStation it really depends when you build this team whether it's you know just as the weekend league starts or at the end of weekend league um, and about 480 or maybe a little bit less on Xbox as well so it's a very affordable team, very OP, and we've got some cool players in it, some nice informs and what if promo players. And the good thing is about this prayer, if you sit on this card, if you use this team for a week or two, what you might find is people start to buy into this card when they realize how good it is and that you might be getting upgraded to an 89. So it could be a little bit a little bit of an investment as well by having this prayer in your squad. Now, before we get into the gameplay, guys, if you enjoy these squad builders, make sure you drop a like, but also make sure to check out my Discord if you'd like to build squads and share squads and just you know get some ideas. You can come to my Discord. There's over 15,000 people in there sharing their squad ideas, especially when it comes to Weekend League. And of course, I have loads of trading tips in there as well if you want to make some coins. Let me quickly show you what I would do with the custom tactics on this team. So let's say a 4 one 2 one 2 What I would do is probably play Pogba as my CDM, Hakimi and Bruno Fernandes as the, the left and right centre mids. And I'll put Perea in the cam position. I think it's a, it would be a waste to not use that pace and the shooting stats and dribbling stats. Now for the 4 2 3 one, we've got Bruno on the left side. That's usually where I have my player on balance. Pogba stay back. And then I've got Martinez as the cam. Although, you know what? I'm going to switch them around. Uh, see, I'm not sure. Do I want the five-star skills up front? It's really down to you. You can you can choose what you want, but I'm going to go with that for now. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to have Martinez. I want to play that through ball to Martinez, and I want to be doing dribbling, the nice move to side-to-side -side stuff with uh, Rashford as I play through that Martinez ball. And then, obviously, Rashford uh, and uh, Martinez as strikers. And then we've got 4-3, 1-2. I'll put Perea in the cam position. Hakimi goes on the right, Many moves up to the left uh, mid spot. Right, let's see who we're playing against. Dybala, he ripped me the last video I'd done. We've got Ronaldo, Robin. Wow, this guy's got a pretty cool team, actually. He had, he had the left back, I think it's Dalla. Is that how you say his name? I don't know why he's got him in that position. Oh, that that was really classy play. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how far I'm gonna throw that back, but I kept the ball so neatly and just played it into the back of the net. Simple stuff. Oh, that's that. That's nice. Oh, Dybala, man. I wasn't expecting him to run like that. Oh, this is that meta again. It's just through ball, through ball. And what? I thought I, I thought I touched him. I thought I put him off his shot. Nice. Lovely. Yep. That was nice play, though. Nice play. Just shame the positioning of my attackers was crap. Oh, no, I messed it up by doing that stupid pass. I did it accidentally. Oh, wow. What a pass. It's that five-star weak foot coming in clutch. Let's go across goal. Come on. Told you this guy is OP. So far, so strong. I actually don't know what foot he is. Is he left-footed? Is he right-footed? He is right-footed. That, so that was his weak foot. Oh, that's his weak foot, though. Ah, he's moved the goalkeeper. You idiot. I wouldn't have scored that on his weak foot. Uh, very, very unlikely to score that across goal with his weak foot. So thank you for moving the goalkeeper, mate. Come on, look at that run from Bruno. Go up. Ah, I did the wrong thing there. I really messed it up. Should have done a little heel to heel, ball roll or something to get around the keeper. Come on, Hakimi. With the burners and the cross. Control it. Ah. So there we go, guys. That is the overpowered 500k team with Pereira. Now, it's weird for me to like build a squad, focus around one player and not play them as like a striker or 
even a cam position like you know he i've put him into left attacking mid position or the left mid position and he still shined he is and he could play striker he could play center mid he's a very good all-rounder um definitely recommend him i'd say the good thing about this team is i don't expect this team to crash much in value you do have a few gold players but they are very very meta players like mendy he can't drop that much Varane, he can't drop that much like pogba rashford bruno these are all players that people still go to use so they shouldn't drop that much and the informed players they should hold their value pretty well unless say another what if player come out which you know replace them but even still they should hold their value pretty well so you should be okay having this team for a week or two you know it's annoying when you buy a team for 500k and then you've got to sell it and then you get 400,000 coins back after tax if you enjoyed the squad builder make sure you smash the likes before you leave uh, if we can get a few hundred likes 500 likes maybe i don't know that'd be greatly appreciated if you're not subscribed already make sure you do that before you leave and i'll catch you later bye bye